I go to Singapore a lot. And what I love about going there is it's like going to the Philippines, except everything works. You leave Manila Airport and you say bye to a Filipino and you land at Changi Airport and you say hi to a Filipino. Hi, Mark Urbano, Chris Urbano here. And today I want to talk to you about my top five Filipino restaurants in Singapore. Today, I want a special shout out to all of our Kababayans in Singapore. I got a lot of fans there. I think a couple of hundred people who are tuned into Maputin Cooking and I go to Singapore a lot. And what I love about going there is it's like going to the Philippines, except everything works. And you leave Manila Airport and you say bye to a Filipino and you land at Changi Airport and you say hi to a Filipino, right? I mean, the whole staff of Changi Airport, let's face it, are Filipinos. Every single restaurant at Changi Airport that I have gone to is a Filipino. So I love the experience. I'm like, you know, hey Brad, but Singapore is super cool for that reason and Filipino dining scene there is starting to get more interesting I think increasingly it's not just about serving Filipino food for Filipinos I think there's starting to be a greater interest even in Singapore for Philippine foods. Let's get straight into it So first on my list is a restaurant in Lucky Plaza called Inasal is simply Inasal, not Mang Inasal, the big chain here in the Philippines. What do they sell? You might ask. <laughs> they sell Inasal. Chicken Inasal is typically prepared in kind of herb and spice rub with a lot of lemongrass in there is one of the key ingredients. And then it is grilled, normally on a grill or over hot coals, and it's basted with anato oil. So anato oil from anato seeds gives this beautiful yellow color, kind of earthy flavor to the chicken. And then you'll normally have your Inasal with toyomansi with a little bit of chili. And you have it with a lot of rice. Everyone eats like double the amount of rice when they're having in a salad. If you're in Singapore, go down to the in a salad restaurant and they'll make you up a delicious one there. I've tried it out, it's great. So next on my list of Filipino restaurants in Singapore is the Habayan Filipino restaurant. Now, of course, Turo Turo in the Philippines refers to the act of when your restaurant kind of has a shelf with the food on display. You're often behind like a glass cover with all of their different ulam lined up. And you kind of go up and Turo means to point. So you, you make Turo and you point at what you want and they're going to put that on a plate for you and bring it out. So a Turo Turo restaurant is like that. And Kabayan Filipino restaurant offer you that experience. This is another Lucky Plaza special. You've got to make your way up to the top of Lucky Plaza where all the Filipino restaurants are. And, you know, I've been up there before having like a San Mig bucket. Like if you're feeling really homesick or nostalgic it's one of the cheapest places to get beer in Singapore because everyone knows the liquor taxes there are so high so Lucky Plaza you can get your uh, San Mig bucket your Turo Turo so you know you go in there and they they have a lot of stuff you can pick out have it on the table great gimmick place it's normally been a Friday night and very nice time to be had so the next one is Iskina Cebu Obviously, being a Cebu restaurant, they're well known for doing Cebu lechon. Lechon, if you're not familiar with it, is just this delicious take on pork. And Cebu lechon was rated by Anthony Bourdain as best pig in the world. It's basically going to be really crispy on the outer skin, but the meat inside the skin is then incredibly tender. And then it's infused with these delicious herbs, lemongrass flavors, just go through the meat through that long cooking process on open grill or over hot coals. That's why Cebu lechon is so popular. So if you're missing your like delicious hit, of or crispy outer skin and the delicious Cebu flavors this restaurant has you covered. So Filipinos love lechon and they'll go to great lengths to get lechon. And I heard a story a few years back that for one of the Philippine National Day celebrations in Singapore, a lechon was flown in from Manila, but the airlines wouldn't let them put it into the cargo hold. So it actually went as a passenger. So the ticket was bought for the lechon. So you got a Filipino sitting there literally in his katabi, his seatmate is a lechon to get that into Singapore so Filipinos could have that at their national day. And that just is hilarious, right? Now, if you can't do a whole lechon, they'll obviously do like smaller parts of pork that have been charcoal roasted. So the liempo and would be available there as well. Like if you're just eating for one or two people, they can also hook you up. Really great one to check out if you can't fly all the way to Cebu for Cebu lechon. It's delicious, try it out. All right, my next Filipino restaurant in Singapore to check out is Silo. So sea log, short for tap sea log, toss sea log, long sea log, bang sea log, hot sea log. What am I talking about? I'm talking about the classic Filipino breakfast of insert meat here, which could be, yeah, hot dogs and bangus, tocino, tapa are all options to have there. Egg and sinangag, which is the Philippine garlic fried rice. So this is a place that you go to if you want your tap sea log, toss sea log fix. So what I like about this place is, you know, it's got all of the classic sea logs are there, but it'll also serve up a few things a little bit more interesting 
name is the chicharron silog. That's a mouthful, crispy fried puffed pork rind. And you've also got dungit silog. That also seems a bit of a stretch, but dungit's one of my favorite dried Filipino fish. Check this one out if you need your Pinoy breakfast fix. If you're feeling homesick, head on down. And the last restaurant I'm gonna tell you about today in Singapore is Turo Turo. which in contrast to the Kabayan restaurant that I talked about earlier is actually not exactly a Turo Turo place, but they're drawing on the Karanderia theme of Turo Turo and serving up a lot of the ulam that you would often find there, but in a more casual dining uh, ambiance. So it's not like Filipino Jali Jeep ambiance I'm talking about. This is Singapore after all, but a little bit more of a casual dining. Maybe it's got aircon and you know more modern amenities and so on, but still kind of serving up that kind of food. So lots of food you can get there. You know, your sizzling sisig fix is available, your crispy Pata is available, bulalo, lechon kawali. Mm, I, I'm starting to uh, to drool and get very hungry. And of course, all the classic Filipino desserts, halo halo, and leche flan as well. All right, I'm gonna stop there before I make myself hungry. Okay, Mal Cabano, that's it for today. Let me know what you think, whether you agree or disagree of any of the restaurants that I've listed here today in Singapore. And of course, a shout out to all of my Cabanos and our Cababayans who live or work or travel to Singapore regularly. Thanks so much for watching the show, guys. Get in touch, leave a comment below with where is your favorite Filipino restaurant in your hometown. Remember to subscribe to the channel so you never miss another episode of Food and Fun from the Philippines with me, Chris Urbana. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.